Donnie came out. Me and DJ over here, pretty much just looking. Your DJ getting in. We're double. Pretty much just looking for a hidden immunity item. They're going for us. Um, At least met. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Patrick and me tonight. Yeah, they're going for one of us. And including oh, Patrick. Nah, that's me. It's me before him. Unfortunately. I wish it was him before me, but... It's not we'll see. Almost. So, we're going to keep looking and hopefully we find it. We don't know how many there are left. But there is, there's a leap. There's got to be one. There's got to be one. So, hopefully we find that. Yeah, they could go talk in a circle or whatever they want. We're doing something else. Productive. Yeah. Act like I'm doing a confessional, yeah. Yeah, he's peeing. <laughs> Rocha Tribe. I'm taking Patrick with me to go to Island of the Idols. Whoa! Patrick, I'm like, head on out. Alright, Patrick, welcome to Island of the Idols. On this. <laughs> Nice to meet you. On this computer is a message from the, a previous player who's here to give you a lesson. So if you want to click the space bar, you'll get a message. What's going on? It's Andrew Gallo from Survivor Bunker Beach and Clash of the Titans. I came second place in both those seasons, and my lesson to you is going to be situational awareness. One of the best examples of my situational awareness was in Survivor Clash of the Titans when Mackenzie was voted out. We were all merged into one tribe, and our entire tribe was voting out Leif. I had a feeling at this tribal that I was going to be receiving a vote. So I, as my situational awareness, what I did was I placed a hinky vote on Mackenzie, hoping that in case there was a tie, I wouldn't go home and everyone would have to re-vote. Leif ends up playing his idol, we re-vote, and Mackenzie goes home. I saved myself right there, using my situational awareness. Another example of my situational awareness also came from Clash of the Titans, when I created a fake idol, and I used it on Maz at the tribal council that he went home at. The reason why I used my fake idol was I wanted to gauge everyone's reactions to see if I really need to use my real idol on him or not. But because people were giving me no reaction at all, I used the idol on myself, which ended up being wasted. But for your game, use every ounce of situational awareness to make sure you're making the right move at the right time. I hope some of this advice helped, and uh, good luck with the rest of your game. All right, Patrick, you now have an opportunity to test your sense of situational awareness. I'm gonna tell you what the next immunity challenge is. And if you choose to accept your challenge, you get to bet on two people in your tribe that you think could win the challenge. If you bet correctly, you will get an, an, an advantage in the game. If you bet wrong, you will lose your vote at the next tribal council. You can also deny the challenge, but you have an opportunity to get this advantage that could stir up drama. So, if you have a second to think about it, you can talk to the camera. But other than that, the lesson is done. Yes, sir. You, do you think you're going to accept it? Or you... I, I'll accept it. Okay. So, the challenge is going to be everyone's going to get a colored pencil. You're going to hold it on the bottom and you're going to stack wooden tiles on top one at a time. So, <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> that is so hard. Shut up, bro. Shut up. Hogan, you're not part of this. Okay. So if you pick correctly on who's going to win, you'll get an advantage. If you don't, you lose your vote. So you get two choices on who you think has the best balance to hold those up. Well, use my situational, situational awareness and think back like I was taught by a predecessor who gave me a message. When we did the balance challenge with the paddle and the ball, the last two were Liz and DJ, but Liz only lost that because she went to adjust her glasses. On this type of challenge, she's going to be using both hands so she won't be able to adjust it, which could be her downfall, but it also could be however to win. So one of my people I'll bet on is Liz, and the other one will be DJ. Okay, your last job here at Island of the Idols is to pick the name of the next person that will come visit me. Don't look at it, just hand it to me. Even though you'll find out. Thank you. You can head on back to camp. Right now, what the team is thinking is... 
Patch is good. Oh. Patch is good. Challenge. Yeah, we just gotta, we gotta make sure he doesn't win and then we'll be fine. Okay. Bro, Adani, I will take this back. Thank you. Once again, immunity is back up for grabs. Here's how this challenge is gonna work. This one's called balancing point. Oh, You're gonna hold man. the colored pencil with the tip down. You can hold it uh, anywhere below like half the pencil. You can hold it any way you want, like this, this, anything. So you, can, you won't put it on the table, you're gonna hold it up. Oh. And you're gonna go on my go, you're gonna okay. add one. Oh, nothing on the table. So you're gonna, uh, when I say go, you're gonna add another tile at the same time, everyone. And then uh, if, your st if your stack drops, you are out. The last person left standing wins immunity and is safe. Here we go, everyone can get two pencils as a, uh, two uh, tiles as a base. This, if you drop here, it doesn't count. Just get two down as a base and you're gonna add from here, okay? So right now, just get two down. Patrick, lower on the pencil, you gotta go. And no touching the table. Yeah, no touching the table with that hand. That's on the pencil. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. You guys gotta do it for a second. All right, survivors. Now we're starting. From here on, if you drop, you're out of this challenge. The wind is picking up a little bit on cue. Add one more. Honor is out. No <laughs> way. No. Yo, I wish we could vote out the wind. Everyone has to put up one. DJ, put up another one. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to be at three. Whoa, whoa, whoa Victoria, whoa. you gotta chop it on there. Oh, okay, sorry. You're good. All right, everyone's still going strong. Oh, we have to keep going? No, 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 okay. I'm just saying. Everyone, add, add your fourth one now. Okay. Victoria with a nice save. All right, everyone got their fourth one. Let's go to a fifth one. Uh-oh. Ooh, everyone's... Liz, you have a drama for Mine fell off the right Oh, when yours fell off, you're out. You're out of the challenge. Oh. Hey. hey. Alright, we're down to Kevin, Victoria, Donnie, Liz, and DJ. Add another one. Victoria with a nice save. Alright, everyone got the six. Very nice save. DJ with a very nice save. Alright, go on to your seven. Everyone is up. Oh, oh, DJ drops out. It's down to Donnie, Liz, Victoria, and Kevin. Add your eighth tile. Most of you've gone up to it. Oh. Victoria yeah, Victoria's out. It's down to Liz, Donnie, and Kevin. I'm going to need the peanut gallery to not come and join this. All right. Everyone, go with another one. All right. Oh, my God. Go ahead, my ear is just so hot. Let's go for the lucky ten. These three are crazy. <laughs> Donnie is out of town. It's down to Kevin versus Liz. We're at 10 tiles. Let's add the 11th. Donnie wants the table. Uh, astounding, 11 tiles. Never gotten to this point before. All right, let's go for the 12th tile. Both of them. This is killing you right now. Liz is a little shake. Kevin is a little shake. I'll let you sit here for a second. Let's go for lucky number 13. Wow. Alright, you guys are going to sit here for a second. The wind's picking up. The wind's picking up a little bit. Let's go for 14. Liz is out. Kevin wins immunity. Oh, Kevin. Come on over. Kevin, congratulations. You are safe in this game. You are not going home at Tribal Council. As for the rest of you, somebody will be voted out. Uh, good luck. Come head back to camp. The challenge was impossible. I had to pick, I got told what the challenge was after I accepted it, not knowing what we'd have to do. And I had to pick two people, who I, one of which would win, but I had to pick I had two options, or if I lost, I couldn't vote. If I won, I can't make it.
I voted on DJ from the earlier balancing thing, and you. But Kevin faced against the wind, oh, so it helped yeah. him. Right. That's what, yeah, that was my that was so close, If you were able to get that one on, I'm though, sorry. you would have been fine, I think. Because Kevin had to, like, yeah. reach then. He was like, well, I, have, I haven't won a mini challenge before in my Survivor career, so it's, it's really nice. Right now, I feel like in the, in the break before this, we were kind of talking like a strategy of getting out. Patrick, but right now we're, I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll just see how the game goes, I guess. Poor guys, just working. If these guys listen to me, which I don't know if they will. We get Patrick out, and I'm the next biggest threat, but it's other near him tonight, so. If I am not out next, it's a miracle. I don't know what to do. Well, I, it's like a quiz thing. I have to play it. Well, do they all know you have it? Like, yeah, everyone knows I have it. Should we say, oh, do we want to? Well, Patrick's already not safe. I would just say not play it because we don't have any enemies. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Just don't play it. Or you can play it. I can just, I'm sorry, I can just play it against him. Are we definitely doing that? Are you good with that? Patrick? Are you good with that? If we're voting for a tenant, yes, Okay. Are you guys good with that? Yeah. Yeah. Patrick, I don't know if I did that. I don't know how I can't find it. Welcome back to Tribal Council. Uh, final seven. Someone is going home. I'm going to start with Kevin. How important was it for you to win this immunity? It feels good. Uh, Although I, like, I feel like I'm also going to get voted out anyway, um, I, I have a lot of trust in it. Um, it's definitely a yeah. That's good. Patrick, what's the impact of there being uh, idols and advantages out there right now? How are, how are you feeling about them? Um, I feel like I'm in a really bad spot. <laughs> really? Do tell. Well, I mean... When I went to the Island of the Idols, I got a pretty tough challenge, and I had the opportunity to either get punishment if I failed the challenge, or a bonus, or a reward. And I ultimately failed the challenge, so I was kind of unable to kind of influence or help like, speak to people. This is called tribal. Tribal challenge. Tribal council. I, I don't really have much to say in it this time, so I feel like that should be in a bad spot because I was like, have some conversation. Liz, we saw that Brody got voted out last time, and he was on the red tribe with you guys. So now it's sitting at five purple, two red. Do you think the tribe lines are still here, or is it, was that just like the consensus vote out? I think it's every man for themselves at this point. I think we got some good conversation going on. After this round, I don't know what to do. Alright. Donnie, are you scared walking in without immunity this time? Um, no, I have trust in my teammates and my tribe. Uh, I think we're all putting in some good work. And like Liz said, it's pretty much just every man for himself too when it comes to the votes. Yeah. Victoria, what are you basing your vote on right now? I feel like at this point you gotta look at everyone's skill set and you know some people are stronger than others and gotta take them to it out. Yeah. Alright, DJ, for you. This is the last question, sorry Connor. But um, if you go out right here at the final seven, what do you think was your impact on this game? What did you leave? What are you leaving out on the field? Some of the questions you want to be asked at the Trump Council. Yeah, <laughs> but if I go out today, at least I tried. Um, I showed some strengths, some weaknesses. I'm very annoyed that I could not find the title, and I'm um, being honest, I'm still not finding the title. Plays anything to do with it. Was, I had fun. I hope to be back here one day. But yeah, if, it, if that's it, that's it. All right, let's start it off. Donnie, you're up first.
ask them which superhero I should vote for? Sure. Alright, which superhero should I vote for? <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. A fourth Spider Man. Donnie, what do you think? Green Lantern. Oh. Oh. And a Batman. Okay. So a Batman, a Green Lantern, and a fourth Spider Man. Alright. Patrick, go. Uh, I will tally the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Sunglasses. Oh, do you now? I got it. So this is the 50 50 point advantage. This acts as a hidden immunity, but Liz can flip the coin, and if it lands on safe, any votes for her, whoever she plays it for, will not count. It is only a bit of a chance of work. Safe. I don't really know that kind of but... Congratulations, Liz. Any votes, Captain Liz, will not count. I just come in. Yeah. I'll read the votes. I wonder who will get out. First vote, Patrick. Patrick, that's two votes, Patrick. Patrick, that's three votes, Patrick. Fifth person voted out of Survivor, Island of the Idols. Patrick, you're gonna bring me your torch. Oh, oh Patrick, with me! No! Patty, no! no. Patrick, it's because he's targeted for it. No! Yeah. Alright, head on out. I think it was biased against superheroes. Um. I'm not gonna lie, I convinced everyone to vote out Brody last time because I knew Brody could influence people to vote for others. So I figured it would be good if I could get him out of the way. Plus, I had information that Brody was gonna try and get people to vote me out, so it's kind of fair. He can't really get mad at me for that. But, um, I don't know. I did, I'm not gonna lie, I did expect to get voted out, so it didn't really matter that I couldn't vote. I hope Dylan gets out. Just because Dylan's a menace, and I know that if he doesn't get voted out, he's either going to get an immunity or something from his challenge, or he's just going to win. Alright, Rocha Tribe, I come bearing the final gift. Dylan, you are coming with me to Island of the Idols, so come on over. Welcome DJ, your Island of the Idols, you have a live idol here for you. Yes, sir. Alright, Maz, it's time to give him a lesson. The lesson today is all about risk and reward. Um, when I was playing in my two seat, it was something that I thought about constantly. You know, you really have to not only think about your own stance in the game, but also your entire drive. And weighing those, too. Right? And oftentimes, throughout both seasons, I was put in a position of, of leadership, right? And I could either choose to be self selfish and take a reward for myself or come back with a reward for my entire tribe. And I almost always chose the entire tribe because it would look better for me going back with something, right? Instead of trying to lie to them. And I always focus on trying to create new alliances and new strategies. Risking your game, but for a reward. So, here's what's going to happen. You have the opportunity to earn a hidden immunity idol in this game, but you have to challenge that you're about to do. So, if you, you're about to see this challenge will be an individual thing where you will have to guess how close you are to two minutes. With a blindfold on, you have to count to two minutes and raise your paddle closest to two minutes. You have to throw it in the first ten seconds and kind of expose yourself to the tribe, but you're going to risk it and you get a hidden immune idol that you get to play at the six or five. So, you have a choice here on what to do. And, um, how many of you left up? Six. So you have the final six. Can you use it here or the next one? It's very enticing. I probably will throw it because I'm not very good with this type of challenge and trying to get some time in two minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to do it in a funny way. Yeah. Maybe it's a puddle or I drop it. You can drop it. I'll probably drop it on that. So. Now, this is just me sideballing because I was top technically the, the idol here. You can technically, you have 15 seconds to throw it. Yeah. 15 seconds. You can wait till 14 seconds to yeah. throw it. But if it's, if it's like 17, then okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you can also, the other thing is, with that reward, you can use it for someone else. Yeah. So, think yeah. about that. Try and take full advantage of it. Yep. Thanks.
Heaven, I'm gonna take it back. Thank you. Once again, immunity is back up for grabs. Here's how this challenge is gonna work. You're each gonna be blindfolded with a paddle. When I say go, I'm gonna start a timer for two minutes. And then you're gonna have to raise your paddle when you think you're closest to two minutes without going over. You wanna be closest but under two minutes. So I'm gonna have people distract you and try to get you to lose count, but the person that raises their paddle closest to two minutes wins immunity and is safe from the vote. The losers travel council, someone's voted out. Wait, are you getting distracted? Yes, I'm gonna have the three of you distract. Oh, no, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Are they, are they like oh them? boy. No, no touching, but you can distract like sound wise. All right, so everyone, get your blindfolds ready. All right, guys ready? Survivors ready? The timer starts now. Don't say anything. No. Ah! Don't. <laughs> Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, are they Yeah. All right, Donnie is the paddle. I'm not gonna announce paddles from here on. Paddle, you guys can take off your blind. What? That's so All right. <laughs> Raising the paddle at 159, Kevin wins immunity. Let's go. Congratulations, Kevin. You are safe from this. I'm happy to take I think you're like 203 and she was 204. You're like 140. Connor was like 147. Everyone else is someone going home tonight. Started moaning in my ear. He like growled and he was like, that, 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 that was Brody. Brody. I was like, what the heck happened? Oh, and the ding 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 ding. Oh my god. Jesus. But really, for me, when they started counting in my ear, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I had to like use my whole body to count. I was like, oh. I said, I'm very good at math, so I got the way You were close to me. I was about two minutes off. Time flies fast with you. What happened? They played a game, it was like, they gave me three cards, and it was one in three chance to get that. It's a fuck, it's just idle or not, there's no con. Of course I won't. Yeah, what, Jay? I'm going to say you're going to work with your brother. Who do you want at? I got no idea. Alright, I'm just saying, that was a very good tone to hide in the movie out for them. Yeah. Because everyone was blind. By the way, I'm black. I got it. I'd throw it. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling that we both do Yeah. Just because I think the person is the next one. Um, so I got, I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. How about you just want to put on? I think they're going to. 
but I'm going to call that. I know I said the last time, but I think I just did Anyway, so I think definitely I know the whole group was set on him, but now I'm unsure. I think, I think, you know, have a chat with obviously Donnie, Kevin, figure it out. I think they might be, I think they might be targeted by us, so. I don't know. Well, they went off into a band group. Not. Well, and I'll think about it with Lafayette, so. So, do we have two immunities up by then? In that case? Yeah. We could all just vote. I feel like we don't know enough. Yeah. I, I guess so. If it wasn't, because he is a strong competitor. Okay. Good to know. So we have a main and a backup. Yeah. He was a surprise. He kind of came out. So there's definitely an idol out there. We were all blindfolded. There's an idol. There's got to be one. I'm going to go with one. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, that's true, to hide. Welcome to Tribal Council Final Six. You guys are very close to the end. You can almost taste it. Kevin, wow. You won that immunity this close to going over. How does it feel? It's nice. I'm, I'm very happy. It's another comfort in a final box. Very good. Very good. DJ, you've been very vocal the last few rounds. Every time you come to Tribal, you say, oh, it's me, it's me, this is where it ends. So what are you feeling? Probably me again. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you can never feel safe in Survivor. I'm prepared to go home every week, but I'm prepared to go home. Donnie, we're hitting the shot clock on a lot of advantages and idols. What are you feeling like going into this round? What do you think is going to happen? Well, there's supposedly two more rounds with idol use that you can use an idol. So I just think... Continuing the search for another idol is the best way to go for all of us right now. Um, just because it's still free for all. Yeah, I see. What'd you say? Two rounds? Yeah, yeah it's final six and final five. Let's see if this one. Alright. Connor, how have you felt progressing through this game? I feel like I haven't asked you a lot of questions. What are you what are you up to? Two thumbs up. That's better than one. Liz, what are you basing your vote on? Um, I think I just have to base it on who is going to be targeting me. Who has the sword? Who has the upper hand? Yeah. Nice. And Victoria. It feels like every round there has there's been kind of a unanimous consensus or it feels like things are very fluid. Are there like set alliances or is it kind of just talk to everyone make it or? I think at the end of the day there's a conversation but at the end of the day it comes down to a gut thing so you can have all the conversations in the world if someone's gut is telling them something they're gonna go that way. Yeah, all right. And Donnie, start us off. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Nope. All right, I'll tally the votes. Decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. All 
read the vote. First vote. Liz. Victoria. That's one vote Liz. One vote Victoria. Donnie. DJ. That's one vote Liz. One vote Donnie. One vote Liz. One vote Victoria. One vote DJ. Victoria. That's two votes Victoria. One vote Donnie. One vote DJ. One vote Liz. One vote left. Sixth person voted as Survivor Island of the Idols, Victoria. What? Victoria, it's been a pleasure. Charlie, it's been a pleasure. You head on out. Hey guys, good luck. As for the rest of you, congratulations. Well Final well five. We're going to get to the nitty gritty of this game. Good stuff. Everyone was like, we're going DJ, and I knew that it was tricky because I might have an idol, didn't have an idol. And yet, Donnie was a surprise vote that popped up in there. Oh wait, no, I got three. You know what, I'll take it as a compliment because I think I am a, you know, intellectually threatened player and I wish them all the best, yeah. Um, you think DJ has an immunity to him that he's just not showing us, maybe, because we've got no punishment with the island, I don't know. So we think that we didn't break Did not think I was gonna make it this far, definitely thought I was gonna be like the second one out, so very surprised. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it past this round. I think they're just trying to eliminate all the girls. Um, I think Victoria was first and I'm next. But I don't know. I could be, they could think I'm a weak point. So they might keep me in for a little bit longer. See, like, they turn on each other, try to get, like, the last two. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm trying to aim for either Donnie or DJ right now. Um, I think the Medros are where I'm at a safe point with, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know who to trust. I feel really good right now, I mean I won the last two rounds so that's, I feel like that says something about me and I'm hoping that I'll win the next one again, get that safety. Yeah, I, I don't know, I think we're doing good so far. Also I feel like neither of us have been a target yet. In every conversation I've had no one's been like, oh, so and so mentioned you. So I feel like we're safer right now. Congratulations. Hopefully we'll see it again. Hey Jeff, you got immunity. Once again, immunity's back up for grabs. Here's how this challenge is gonna work. On go. You guys are gonna put your hands behind your back and kneel at the table, and you're gonna have to eat all three spice drops on your plate. The first three to get them down, and then show me an open mouth. You gotta spread them out. The first three to show me that they have an open mouth, a uh, clear mouth, will move on to the next round. Then the ne those three will play again with more spice drops, and then from there it'll be the final two. The final two will have to go for like six. That's so, <laughs> sure. How spicy are they? They're, they're not, not spicy. spicy, so they're disgusting. So, I don't mind. Okay. Let's go. You guys understand? It's not too hard. Once you get it, step water. back and show me your open mouth, so I know you're done. All right, survivors, ready? Go. Once you get them, step back. Not that delicious. Liz is good. Kevin's good. Connor's good. Donnie and DJ, you guys have no shot at immunity. So you guys can take these away. You guys keep your plates, I'm gonna put more on. Survivors ready? Go! First two to get them down and show me open mouth. We'll move on to the final round. Damn, Kevin's putting them down. Kevin's Look at Liz going off. <laughs> Go! Oh, Young Medro! If Young Medro don't. Uh, no, one more person really young, young Medro. <laughs> if Young Medro don't trust you. Kevin's good! Connor, unfortunately, you are out of the job. Alright. I've been dropped in one of my Oh, bro. Alright. Back on. There's okay. like a film on the top of my mouth. How does the candy taste? I have like a sugar coating on the top of my mouth. Oh, there's a bee. <laughs> there's a bee? <laughs> there's a bee. You stopped what about you, Kevin? It's alright. I mean, I've had them before. So if you had to compare it to any other candy you've ever had before, what would you say it was like? Probably like, um, a different brand of spice drops. <laughs> Survivors ready? Go! This round is for immunity. You gotta get all. Oh my god, this is going crazy. For all of them at once. Holy. Kevin's trying to get them down. Oh my gosh. Alright. 
This is a battle here. Dude, none of you think What did we eat in All Stars? It was these in the first one. Liz wins immunity! Hey. What was that? Liz, come on over. Liz, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. One immunity you are safe. Thank you. Everybody else, either Donnie, DJ, Kevin, or Connor is going home tonight. You guys have a minute to go talk about it. Yep, last round. It's been in my pocket for the past like three rounds. So, I've been saving it. And once I got that first boat, now the next time I have to use it. Yeah, and I do too. And and I'll join now. Yeah, I have to use mine as well. At Final Five, I told people it was Final Six, so they wouldn't vote for me there. Yeah. Now we're both so safe for Final Five. You both have idols? Both have idols. So, oh boy. I feel like Kev's gonna vote his brother out there first. Well, they're both gonna go for each other. They know we have idols and we are. So it's gonna come down to this and us. Mm -hmm. Would you like to sacrifice yourself? Or would you like to I mean, Connor to sacrifice yourself. I understand it. So I can say But it's two guys in my name. Two guys in my name. We could vote for Don. 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 How did you do that? Yeah, you guys put it all in your mouth and you got two at all. Because it, once it's all in your mouth, you can kind of like. Crazy. Try to go through it. Uh, you gotta do it all at once because then you can swallow the whole mass. I tried to hit the first round, it didn't work. I was just fast too, man. It's your thought process. You got the item. <laughs> you you got say, the power. Probably the one thing I'm gonna do here. I don't know if we're getting anywhere here. <laughs> yeah, should we just call it? Yeah. Jaden, you want us? We're ready. 